To the point, formative, entertaining, and protecting the Second Amendment, welcome back to Elster's Rifles and Reloading. And I have a treat for you guys. Right behind me over here is the ShootingTarget7.com centerfire, long distance version of their tree target system. And I plan on beating that up here and testing it out at 300 yards with the 6.5 Creedmoor Ruger Precision Rifle. Roughly about 200 yards with my PSA 10 and a half inch AR-47 and 7.62 by 39 with some inexpensive Wolf ammunition. And then jump over to 25 yard range over here behind me and banging this thing up a little bit more with my nine millimeter FM9 with a 10 and a half inch barrel AR pistol. So enough of the BS talk, let's jump right into this at 300 yards with the Ruger Precision Rifle and 6.5 Creedmoor. Okay, so first up on the block is the Ruger Precision Rifle in 6.5 Creedmoor, and this has a custom Krieger barrel on it. Some of you guys have probably seen this before in that Know Your Limits centerfire version of the ShootingTarget7.com target system. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll splice in a quick little picture or video right now, and I'll put a link in the description box below for more information on that particular target. But I got this set up down at the 300 yard line. Now I'm not gonna BS you, this thing is pretty darn heavy. I've yet to weigh it, but I'm gonna guess roughly 100 pounds. And if you don't have a dolly to move that thing, you're gonna be SOL. So um, enough of the BS talk, let's get this going. Now those paddles are roughly a little over six inches in diameter. So. One minute of angle at 300 yards is roughly three inches. So if those paddles are roughly uh, six inches, a little over, I think they're roughly six and a half inches. Those paddles are about roughly two minutes of angle. So I don't think this is gonna be much of a challenge for this particular rifle. And I think I still have this zeroed in for 300 yards since that last setter fire version of the Know Your Limits target. Um, but still, this will be fun. And that's what I'm here to do is to test this system out and see how it works. And I think 300 yards would be a good test. I plan on taking this out to 500 yards, maybe shooting against Sean, Sean and his 6.5 Creedmoor RPR. I think they'd be a lot of fun. Uh, but let's get this going. I got 10 rounds loaded up with my reloads and this is with uh, 123, let's see here. I gotta check my info card. This is with 41.6 grains of H4350 and I am rocking the 142 grain boat tail hollow point Sierra Match Kings. And yeah, I think this will be a lot of fun, at least to initially test out this system. Now, the front leg on that center fire, center fire version of that tree target system is adjustable. You can pitch it, you can pitch it forward, you can pitch it back. And sometimes you have to tune that according to Mark from shootingtarget7.com. And I have yet to even touch that front leg that allows you to pitch that tree front to back. And sometimes you gotta, tune that target system a little bit depending on what you're shooting it with and how close you're shooting it. So anyways, let's, let's try this out and we'll see how this works. So I think I'm gonna start out on that top paddle and I'm gonna hit it and then I'm gonna shoot it back. And I just wanna see if my bullseye is remotely close and the mirage is brutal today. So definitely no issues. I'm gonna swing that paddle back. I just wanna see where I'm hitting on it. Okay, so that definitely bounced back and then bounced back again. So I think I need to pitch that front leg a little bit. But it looks like I'm hitting remotely close to center, so let's keep on going. I think I'm gonna have to tune that front leg a little bit so those paddles uh, stay when they flip around. And for some reason, I had both of them flip over, that's weird.
So I'm definitely gonna have to tune that, I think. I'm gonna have to head down there and get that tuned out before I keep on going here. So let me pull this live round out. And we're gonna put this on pause. Let's see here. So at least on this one here, it looks like it was pretty centered on this. And I think I definitely need to tune this. So it looks like my zeros are remotely closed, but at least good enough for this. So you can see I can unloosen this and this front leg is adjustable. And I think I definitely need to get this so it's tilting more like this way. So gravity is working against these paddles. So when they flop around, they stay flopped around. <laughs> and so far some of these, like this one, flipped around without even hitting it, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, let me uh, tune this front leg here and we'll go from there. So you can just loosen this up and this front leg can adjust so there's more of a degree so this target system tilts forward a little bit more. All right, so you can see by adjusting this front leg and this front leg just kind of burying itself a little bit in the sand here, but this is more at an angle now. So gravity should help these paddles to stay to one side. Now you can see there's a little bit of a spring piston here that helps keep these paddles from when they flop over that they don't flop back. Obviously I'm hitting this with a tremendous amount of force with a 6.5 Creedmoor. So let's try that out and see how that works. So let's give this another shot here. Man, that mirage off that sand is unforgiving. All right, so we're gonna start on that top paddle again. Interesting, that third paddle from the top wants to flip over with that second one from the top. For some reason, it did that on the last time. Definitely have to check that out. Maybe it's getting hit. Maybe the hinge is loose. All right, so that bottom one swung back. I got that pitch forward quite a bit. So I'm gonna try hitting that bottom one once again. Yep, definitely swung back. So I'm gonna work my way back coming on the other side. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, that uh, third one seems to be hitting that second one for sure. I think that's it, so I'm gonna try one more shot here. I'm gonna save some of this ammo for 600 yards. So one more shot on that top one. All right, let's head down to 300 yards and check that out.
But one thing's for sure is I'm swimming in sand. <laughs> I could use a better footing on this target system. I think this is about the best I can come up with without dragging some type of plywood to sit this thing on. But you know, there's a good amount of pitch on this. Uh, I got to figure out why this third one is flipping around once I hit the second one here. And I probably won't know that until I can check out this video footage until I get back to the house here. But that is a heck of a lot of fun here. 300 yards. This is definitely taking a good amount of beating here with the 6.5 Creedmoor. Uh, you can see this angle iron in the front here is protecting all this sensitive hardware and these uh, spring pistons in the back. And you can get a little bit better idea how that works. But hey, let's move this down to 200 yards here and bang this up with an AR-47 with some inexpensive wolf ammunition and you're definitely going to need a dolly to move this thing this thing is not light <laughs> all right so i adjusted this front leg just a little bit more so this is not so steep of a pitch but this front leg is at least sitting flat right on the ground. I got a little bit more solid ground here in comparison to back at 300 yards. Swimming in sand back there. Hey, let's give this another shot with the AR-47. Okay, so I got 10 rounds loaded up with my C Product Magazine, and this is Wolf Steel Case Hollow Point. Ammunition, really cheap ammunition. So let's see how this goes at roughly 150 yards. I'm gonna start on that top paddle. All right, so that seemed to go a lot better than the 6.5 Creedmoor at 300 yards. And what do I got here? I got roughly four rounds left, so. That one did bounce back. I have one more round left. There we go. So let's load up another 10 here. And I think I'm going to have to play around with that spring tension, see what's going on with some of those paddles. Look, they're bouncing back. I have to play with that front leg a little bit more. Uh, but let's load up another 10. Just having fun out here at the range. Oh, she wrote, and that was actually pretty fun. I gotta, I might as well just use the rest of this ammunition up because you know, when you're having that much fun. Why stop? <laughs> <laughs> Man, that is a lot of fun. You know, it's roughly 150 yards with Wolf Hollow Point. Really inexpensive ammunition, so that looks pretty good on the plates. Don't see any massive pitting, so not too bad. Let's move this over to the 25 yard mark and see how these paddles react to 9mm. All right, so I took some preliminary shots on this and it definitely will push this back with pistol ammunition, in this case, nine millimeter. Uh, but this is definitely leaning forward way too much. This is more tuned for a high powered rifle. So I'm gonna have to loosen this leg up here and uh, I'm gonna have to cock this back just a little bit so gravity's not working so hard against these paddles at least at 25 yards with pistol ammunition so i'm gonna 
knock this down a little bit. Like I said, this is more for a high powered rifle. Uh, he actually has with shooting targets7.com more of a pistol flavor. But now this is more straight up and down. I'm gonna sink these rear legs back a little bit more. And let's try that. 25 yards. Okay, so we're gonna give this a shot here at 15 yards. And you can see, obviously, this is geared more towards, you know, long distance shooting with high powered rifles. The nine millimeter with the FM9 here, you know, will somewhat move those paddles, but not really. And like I said, shootingtargets7.com, they actually had the same thing, but geared more towards a pistol. here uh 100 you're gonna need a dolly for this bad boy <laughs> this thing is definitely not light you know i'm gonna guess it's close to 100 pounds if not more uh so i think i'm gonna have to figure out something with a different board here something specifically for hauling this thing around but for now this seems to be working quite well in regards to this adjustable leg in the front I think I'm gonna keep it here. I'm not sure I'm going to play around with this too. There's an elongated slot on this front leg that allows you to pitch this tree forward or more straight up and down. And you know, this is just my first time to the range. So I'm definitely gonna to have to play around with this in regards to what I'm shooting it with and what yardage. Um, obviously with a pistol, um, I can't have this tilted too far forward with these 3.8 AR500 paddles. You know, obviously this is designed more for a high power rifle. Um, but that's just something I'm definitely gonna have to play around with a little bit more too. And also there's these Allen set screws where I can play around with the adjustments on these spring loaded plungers that put either more or less tension on these paddles. And I noticed some of these are screwed in more than others. And I noticed that this third one swings when I hit the second one, my 6.5 Creedmoor. So I don't know, I'm gonna have to play around with that too, but that's half the fun here, I guess. You know, it's just go out the range and, you know, twist my arm. I gotta shoot some firearms and test some targets. But I'm definitely gonna have to play around with these, I think, in regards to getting this at a even balance between Obviously this is more geared towards my rifles, obviously Elster's rifles and reloading, but once in a while I might use my pistol on this too. So I don't know, maybe I could play around with these and get a fine balance between marginally getting these to work for a pistol, but obviously working a lot better for my 6.5 Creamore at 300 yards. Well, thanks once again for joining me out at the 300 yard range, testing out the centerfire flavor of this tree style target system from shootingtarget7.com. Now, this isn't available and who knows when it'll be available. It might never be available, I'm not sure. It's always like good old Mark over at shootingtarget7.com is so busy, especially with these Know Your Limit target systems that just came out for the Setterfire flavor. Uh, and especially with this whole COVID mess going on, things are kind of in limbo right now. Um, but the second I find out that these are available, I will let you know. But for right now, they are not. But at least get the pleasure of testing these out. <laughs> so 
And this was a lot of fun shooting the 6.5 Creedmoor RPR at 300 yards, the PSA 10 and a half inch AR pistol, AR 47 and 7.62 by 39 at roughly 150 and the FM nine, nine millimeter with a 10 and a half inch barrel at 25 yards to see how this performs being it's not actually set up for pistols, more for a high power rifle at longer distances. Uh, but I think it worked out pretty good with the pistol, even though sometimes it would totally flip that paddle over. Uh, it was still a lot of fun and it marginally worked uh, to my expectations. Um, but like I said, this isn't available and God knows when this will be available, especially with this whole COVID-19 mess going on right now. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed shooting these firearms and shooting this video for you guys. And if you guys enjoy this content, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Hit that notification bell. Become a Patreon. It helps out more than you know. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.